2004. Right. I was done by then. I was uh, I finished international cricket yeah, in 2003. Yeah. Played a bit of uh, a little bit of county cricket uh, mm -hmm. right at the end for Warwickshire, and then because I was married here, so I came here and and I went to see my brother-in-law who played for I think thirds or something uh, for North Sydney. Yeah. And they saw me there, and they were looking for someone to <laughs> bowl for them. Hazelwood bowls on the back foot. He edges. And it goes into the gully where it's fielded by Marsh. Didn't carry to him on the full. So they... And they saw me... So they con bribe you into playing somehow? What do they have to do to get you to play? <laughs> <laughs> they just came to me and, uh, you know, they actually... You're such a nice my, man. You said, yes, of course. No, I didn't say it straight away. <laughs> because I did not play any cricket for a good, uh, what, two months or three months before that. Now I was yeah. very, very rusty. And I said, look, I have uh, hung my boot for, for a while now. Mm -hmm. Hazelwood bowling and defended on the front foot by a Salmon at six for 212. But they were really, really keen and they wanted me to just come. And they just sort of talked me into it saying, oh, it's just a weekend cricket. You can just come and have a <laughs> have a little fun and it's a family sort of uh, uh, get together and all those sort of things. And I thought, okay, it's a club cricket, you know, let's have fun. Yeah. So I sort of said, I will play for you guys. And it took me, what, four weeks, five weeks to say no to them after that because it was very competitive for my liking because I, you know, finished international cricket and I don't want any pressure. And he bowls again wide of the off stump and it's uh, allowed to pass through to the keeper. So you, you got into the competitive snarl of Sydney Grey cricket. Yeah. 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 I mean, I was really surprised because I thought it was just a club cricket and played a bit of cup cricket and, and it's an easy weekend cricket. And no, they were really wanting me to run in, run in hard. Did you but get any wickets? I did get one or two five, for, but um, yeah, refused to play after four or five weeks. And I said, no, I can't keep up with that. I had enough of these pressure mm. things. And, and they were all just, you know, get on top of me and say, run in, mate. You know, don't do that. Now forward he goes. He's beaten outside the off stump, pushing down the line. Well bowled by Hazelwood. I'm with Wackar Eunice at six for 212. And, um, oh, we're not changing over yet, but just... Someone will let me know when uh, that's about to occur. What have you got, Rick? You got anything interesting? Um, you did what, have. What you, would you, you like? You collected some material for us at lunch about quartets and duos oh, yes. and, and yes. so on. We were doing this business of the great quartets and trios of bowlers. Okay. And because this group is obviously one of them. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. They're, they're so really I sent Rick on a mission to dig out because I thought McGrath. And Warren would probably be one of the great duos. That is, you the know, greatest, I would bowlers, say. bowlers playing together, they'd be number one. But he can tell me. Wackar and, and Wassim. Ambrose and Walsh will be up there after this. And here we go. Stark. Can he make the batsman play? He runs in towards uh, Shaquille. He does. And he plays it well down towards mid off. What have you got? Um, Taking four bowlers at a time. And okay. We're playing together. So let's, let's take to two. We don't have. We, <laughs> we never had four. <laughs> <laughs> two at a time. Well, I've got four here. Okay. okay let's so. let's go four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the top uh, quartet is Moeen Ali, uh, James Anderson, Stuart Broad, and Ben Stokes. We right. played 31 times together and uh, amassed 415 wickets. So that's mm. that's the uh, that's you wouldn't have picked that one. No. No. Oh. No, no, yeah, maybe in England, but not in, outside England. No. So, so, this is this will take 20 minutes. If you got the full list, down to it, down to one. Here's Stark pitching up, punched away, down behind square to the boundary. There you go. No one was chasing, and I thought, where's that gone? <laughs> Straight behind square, a beautifully timed shot to an over pitched ball in at the leg stump. Four runs, and he's uh, moved to 23. Stark's still struggling. Uh, mm. I'm not really impressed with the effort because he's, he's getting one good ball right and then, then he start either go wide or, or he bowls on the leg. He's having the same issues what Shaheen Afridi was having. Yeah, mm. he's bowling a little quicker than Shaheen, but uh, he's all over the place. I know he's having issues with the, uh, the footings there on the crease where he's not really getting a good grip. But yeah, so much cricket is played. He, he should be able to get it right. He runs in now. He bowls oh. wide of the oh. off stump. And that's gone through oh. Kerry for wides. Yes, they shouldn't be buys. That was very wide. He scrambled to stop it. 
He couldn't. It burst through his gloves on the bounce and went away to the boundary. Jim, and five to the score. Jim, look at the look at the slip court and the way they're looking at Stark. They're just yeah. very, very angry, very unhappy with him the way he has bowled that last delivery because that was almost on the on the next pitch. Oh. Just, and yeah. kept on swinging away from all of them and look straight away Smith looking looking around and, and being very, very angry and unhappy with that effort. Well, if you're at uh, the racetrack over the road, you'd bring out the farrier, wouldn't you, Rick? He'd work, work on his shoes. Well, Stark's part of the uh, Australian quartet that he's uh, yeah. He said. Yeah. And they're in third place at the moment with 378 wickets in their 24th. So uh, provided the four keep getting selected, because the, the rule is that they have to yeah, all yeah. play together. We'll play by, by, by the rule. end of the summer, they could, in fact... Uh, so uh, who, who was second? Uh, well, it's, An it's Anderson Broad Root of Stokes. Oh, oh. so rude, yes. So another combination of, of those yeah. top Englishmen. Yep. Okay. We're getting, we'll get down to two eventually. <laughs> now, can start.